praise god praise god praise god god is so good give him glory give him glory give him glory so i've enabled the app i didn't even know that you can do this on here but i've enabled it to where you can actually send stars as well so um all right so let me go ahead with this um i've already said it but i wanted to make it official so first of all happy new year everyone god bless you god keep you I got some hard things and some beautiful things to say contain concerning God. So the first thing is, welcome to the new year. We made it. Come on, somebody. I feel the power of God. I feel the power of God. This is the first day of the rest of your life for real. And I don't care what you're going through, what you've been through, what they said, who they said, who left, who came, who stayed, whatever the case may be. God is with you. I'm going to say it again. God is with you. I need y'all to put up those stars. I, I've been able to, to where you can put up stars. So put up stars. Praise God. Also, um, if somebody could write for me, if you can be a scribe today, whoever you are, if God put it on your heart, put my cash up on there. Prophetess Deanna. No, I'm sorry. Prophetess DD. Cash um, sign with Prophetess DD. All caps. Now, I've never done it like this before, but so let me go ahead and tell y'all what's going on as far as with myself as well <laughs> no i'm just tripping because i'm in the backyard right and uh, doing this video and all of a sudden just to let you know how the enemy is the enemy is always present because then the next door neighbor all of a sudden pull in the backyard all the way and nobody does that on their grass but i ain't worried about them people i hope they see them I hope they hear me they ought to stand and, and, and get a um to listen they might get saved so today is the first day of my becoming a vegetarian uh, you know God said no more meat he said because I want you to be so clear when you are in that state and my mentor was so I know what I'm talking about you hear God even clear I'm talking about I can't even explain it so thank you Jesus help me continue on this path of the woman of God that you are calling to me be to me you know me to be uh, first second of all so here is the word of the Lord for 2022. The ones that have been obedient, the ones that have sacrificed, the ones that have cried silently, the ones that have cried loudly, where everybody saw your pain and everything else. God's getting ready to bless you, sir. God's getting ready to bless you, ma'am. And I'm not no false prophet. I don't be saying stuff just to make y'all feel good because I, I, lo I love God and I'm scared of God. I have a fear of God. Come on, somebody. And I'm not just saying that. But the key to your obedience, the key is your obedience. The key to your blessings, y'all send up them hearts, send up them stars. The key to everything would be your obedience, thus said the Lord. Thank you, Lord. He will, I, knew, I knew he was going to do it. He wanted me to tell y'all what happened last night. Lord, y'all don't make me cry up on here. Please, don't do that. Please, Lord. He want me to tell y'all what happened. So let me tell y'all, it's so much happening right now. I don't want to cry. I'm telling you. It's, and it's not joys of tears of pain it's just god is doing so much in my life right now so anywho let me tell you what's going on i'm out of town right and um somebody asked me to cook some shrimp and grits y'all know i'm a chef and i was like okay fine i said but i ain't none because i don't you know so we had to go to the store and get the things so here's what happened so i went to one store and they didn't have any bread because they wanted shrimp and grits but then the younger people wanted my shrimp pull bar so i said okay i'm gonna do that please hold on i'm telling you this is a beautiful story because it's gonna tie in into everything i'm saying about the obedience part and i'm gonna be very transparent like i always am so anywho let me tell y'all what happened so we got everything at kroger and then it was like they got no braid the hoagies for the hoagies so i said well you drop me and i'll go start cooking because i was trying to hurry up you know because i'm tired and blah 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 but anyway God was like, no, I want you to go in the store too. I was like, I don't want to go in no food line. I'm, I have nothing against food line. I'm just saying I was just tired. I've been wearing these little heels and with my sciatica, you know how heels are. Y'all already know the story. So I go in the store anyway, fine, God, fine. Not even understanding he was trying to set me up for something. So anyway, we get in the store. I only got about four things in this in food line. So I get behind this woman and I have to be very, very transparent. When I first saw her, I said, Ooh, she's strong. You could just tell when you meet a person that is a strong willed person. And she was an older lady. So anywho, I'm standing up there and I'm just, you know, being cordial, just waiting in line. Right. And her card declined. And I'm going to be transparent. It's going to sound bad, but I just, I got to keep it real because at least I'm being real. So 
I'm getting ready to move, right? Y'all already know my situation, whatever. So I have money in the envelope that I'm not touching because God said, this is for this. Don't touch it. So I haven't been touching it, period, in the story. So I took $60 cash back from Kroger, not understanding, but I just did it because God told me to, not understanding, understand. So her car declined. Her stuff was $54. Just listen. I'm not going to lie. I was like, um, I don't hear nothing because guess what? I got $60. I can't go in that, you know, other money. So... I hear God say, her card is going to decline again. Pay for it. I said, God, do you understand my situation? He said, Deanna, pay for it. And I have never done that. But I understand where I met with God. Like, I have to be totally obedient. So, so rather than that, I said, ma'am, I said, can I please pay for it? And she's just like, no, no, no. I said, ma'am, please. I don't know what God is doing. She said, I'm a woman of God, too. All of a sudden, her arm get full of goosebumps. And mine, too. Now, they got a lot of people behind us that wasn't even behind us before. And everybody watching. I'm talking about, it's got 20 people watching what's going on. But I don't know what's really getting ready to go on, right? I feel the power of God. I start feeling it. I said, okay, this God. And so she's just looking. She's just looking. So I caught the Holy Ghost in the store. I start saying, y'all know I'm dramatic i said hallelujah i said he'll do it he'll do it he'll do it not understanding why i'm catching the holy ghost because hey i wasn't even doing anything right caught the holy ghost so i'm walking outside and i'm starting to tear up because i don't understand but i'm being obedient god you know my situation you know what i've been through you know what i'm coming from but and, and, and you just you, you're pressing me but that's okay because i know it's, it's it's like the pressure of an olive you know what i'm saying so long story we're going to the car this woman have the same type of car i have right so then she comes up she said ma'am thank you so much and then she said, well, what's your name? And we started talking. And I ain't going to lie to you. I just started crying. I just, because the anointing was on her and was on me. We just started crying. Next thing you know, I'm prophesying to her. I'm praying with her. Then this car drive up, the devil, trying to almost hit us. And y'all know how I am. I'm usually, I say something because I ain't scared of none of y'all. I'm just being real. I, ain't, I, I walk with wisdom, but don't try it. But I was so much in the Holy Ghost until I was looking at them. Like, and we laughing. Like, we're going to pray for those people, you know, laughing. And all I can tell you, the power of God was so heavy. So when I got back here, I was like, and, and she even said this. She said, God used me. She said, she said, you know, I wasn't supposed to even be at that store. She said, and my check, she gets a check. She was in the military. She said, it was supposed to hit. She said, it didn't hit, I guess, because of the, um, you know, being the first. And it was a Saturday. So it was just God used it. God used that whole situation. And then somebody was with me, so God was showing them the power of God. And I know it wasn't much. $54 ain't nothing right to people and this and that. It was the idea of my obedience. And I heard God say, I'm taking you somewhere. And I even heard this in that story that I must tell y'all. He say, so your way through with Deanna. I, I'm, I'm just being real with you. I'm getting ready to move out of Atlanta. I'm telling y'all, so much happened. I don't even understand it. I can't lie to y'all. God is doing something. I just got to be obedient. I don't even understand it all. I'm going with him, though. He said, Deanna, I'm getting ready to take you somewhere where you've never been, so I need you to be obedient, even if you don't understand it. I'm going to say it again. Even if you don't understand it, even if it feels like, oh, my God, what's happening? Even if it hurts your flesh. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That's where he's taking us in this season. I'm not lying, people of God. God is doing it to where he's going to bless you with double for your trouble. However, the enemy come in double time. The enemy, the enemy is coming double time, you guys. I'm telling you. This year, I'm not telling you to be fearful. You're going to have to come up in God. You're going to have to get in your word. You're going to have to know that word. You're going to have to walk in power. The demonstration. God said, you're tired of people just, everybody, the devil knows his word. It's time to move in demonstration. Because let me tell you another testimony. My friend is, um, they're going through something. I laid hands on them. That part cleared up. Y'all, I don't get the glory. Glory be to God. 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 I'm telling y'all, God is getting ready to move like never before. But the enemy is too. Because let me go ahead and, 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 and seal this thing. It's the buildings of the armies of the God of God and the devil. That's what we're seeing in this hour. They ain't going to be able to hide no more. They ain't hiding anyway. They don't want to hide no more. That's why you're seeing all this stuff come up. They, he, the devil's building his army. Yes, he is. And God is building his army. So we ain't going to be able to. You see, some of y'all, and I got to keep it real. Some of y'all straddlers. Meaning that y'all work for the devil. Y'all work for God. Y'all 
that's about to be over. God said, God said, choose who you gonna serve. Because you got to get exposed. I'm telling y'all, mark my words. I'm telling you as a prophet of the Lord, thy God, as a mouthpiece of God. And by the way, my anointing has doubled. Y'all ain't ready for me. I can't even hardly eat. He didn't stop it. So when y'all see me start losing weight, don't act crazy. It is what it is. I'm going with him. Whatever he said, I'm going with him. I got to go where he want me to go. Because it's not about us. It's a, Even last night, if I'd have just, and I was tired, I really wanted to just come here and start cooking. If I'd have did that, that woman wouldn't have got blessed. You don't know what she been asking God. You don't know what she, what's going to happen through that testimony. You don't know what, because that was God. It wasn't Deanna. That was God showed up for her. That that, that thing going to decline. And she need that food. Because you know y'all got to have y'all greens and your black eyed peas. That's just how older women do. That was God showed up for that woman. I'm just a servant. What am I saying? We're tools. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And to be used by God. But you can't be used by God if you can't hear God. Come on, somebody. God said he needs you to get closer in this hour. Most of you don't know his voice. That should not be. because That's because you got too much noise in your life. Family, friends, this, that. Anything that is not of God. It's not contributing to your life. It must be let go. It must be. Because it's a distraction. I'm going to say it again. It's a distraction. I'm going to say it again. It's a distraction, said God. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah to his name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, none of y'all put up them stars like I asked. <laughs> I need y'all to put stars. This is my first time doing the, um, the stars thing. Where they say, I don't know. But let me tell y'all something. I feel God like I've never felt God before. And I'm stopping myself from crying because I don't like to cry all the time. And it's not a sad cry, but it's just like, God's real. I don't know. If you're not feeling the power, then I don't know what you're doing, saints of God, because he's so real. My God, my God, my God, he's real. And in this hour, most people, you know what they want to do? They want to thank you, Lord. They want a piece of God. Because you know one thing about God, what God going to do, is God going to make you sacrifice. Let me tell you about the anointing. The anointing is a sacrificial thing. In order to be used by God, you got to give your life to God. I couldn't understand. When I was a hair raiser out there doing everything under the sun, everybody kind of loved me. As soon as I say I just want to change, I just, I just want to be close to God, I just want to be a better person, I just want to be a good person, I just want to be the, the devil try to, I don't even know, try to make you look like you're all bad. When you're actually turning for God, when you're actually living for God, when you're actually, come on somebody, growing in God. So I want to encourage the ones that feel so alone. This is a walk sometime by yourself. Oh, mostly by yourself. I'm not saying people don't love me, I'm not saying this and that. But God keeps us, the ones that are called for real, he keeps us close to him. And sometimes even a thorn in our side. Come on, somebody. What's that thorn? I don't know. It could be a person. It could be a thing. It could be a it. It could be health-wise. It's a thorn. It's a thorn. It's a thorn that keeps you close to him. Hallelujah. Because truth be told, let's be real. We don't like it when we go through detrimental things. We don't like it when we go through things that are just so crazy. But I'm going to tell you something for real. It was that stuff, that painful stuff that pushed me close to God. That was that painful stuff that got me to this anointing. It was the pain that pushed me into my purpose. Hallelujah. To, hallelujah. I feel God. I feel God. I feel God. I when people laugh and mock and they did it to Jesus. And we are nowhere like Jesus. But he said, because I go to my father, you should do greater. The greater is here. I'm going to say it again. The greater is here. This was a year uh, last year was a year that hurt me to the core of my spirit. But what if I tell you I feel stronger this year? Oh, hallelujah. I'm not going to talk too much about it. I'm going to let you see it. Because I feel it. I feel it on a level I have never felt it before. Ever. In my whole life. I feel God. I'm going to say this. Because this is what he told me. I'm not Catherine Kufman. But there is one coming. Hallelujah. My, my, I'm telling you, the power about to come up on me like never before. And he said, I need you to be ready for it. And I, I need you to move when I say move. Let me go here. 2015. And I went to see Prophet Bynum before all the other stuff happened. 
God said God had arranged that meeting. She remember, I remember too. God said, don't try to make yourself be seen. Just go. I never forget when a woman first saw me, she walked straight up to me and she did like this. I knew then what was going on and I'm releasing it fully this time. A lot of people know, but y'all, y'all gonna know. She passed it to me. I already had it, but she activated. Prophet to the nations. Hallelujah. But notice how long it took because that's a process. Let me be clear. I never forget we're sitting at the table and you always know when your assignment is there, so will your assault. Somebody right there. When your assignment is near, so is your assault. So I'm sitting at the table with this woman from Baltimore. I never forget it. And I don't know, she just didn't like me. I guess because I was, you know, y'all know I'm bold and who I am. So we, we was doing one part of the conference because prophetess was preaching. And the woman acted like she caught the Holy Ghost, y'all. And she came on my side. And I never forget, God said, Deanna, prepare yourself. And I was like, I don't even know what was going to happen, y'all. Y'all, that woman slapped me so hard. I lied. Not everybody remember that day. I'll never forget it. That woman slapped me so hard to everything. Stop, prophet. Stop preaching. Everybody stop. Because I'm not going to lie. Y'all know who I am. Don't act like y'all love God, but don't play me. Y'all, I had to take a deep breath. Because she was older too. And God said, Deanna, what you do will determine the rest of your life. So I had to take a deep breath. And I was like, God. I mean, I had tears in my eyes. She slapped me hard. And God said, just breathe. Just breathe. And I looked at her. And I ain't gonna lie, I kind of pushed her back up off me now. Then she acted like she was catching the Holy Ghost again. And she slapped me again. No, she was trying to slap me again. I ain't gonna lie, that's when I came out. I pushed her again one time. I don't know about two. I ain't Jesus. One time. Come on now. Let's keep it. Let's keep it a hundred. I'm not Jesus. After that happened, Prophetess Bynum was anointing everybody. After she anointed everybody, she called me back. She said, you know who you are and you know what's happening. She said, never let your intelligence get in the way because God is getting ready to do something. She said it. And she anointed me again. And I've never told publicly, only my mentors and other people, because you know how people, I said, God, what is going on? He said, she, you remember how she used to walk, y'all? Y'all remember, everybody remember, right? I know she passed it to me. It took me this long to process. It took me this long to mature. That was in 2015. It's 2022. He said, now you're getting ready to walk in it. Y'all ain't ready for me. And that's what the change been about. I know y'all see it. God all over me. I mean, I don't even understand it all. I can't lie to y'all, but I feel it. I feel it. I can barely eat. I can barely sleep. I didn't go to bed till 4 o'clock when I was up at 7 and feel refreshed. Hallelujah! And then he told me, I I'm going to tell it all. I might as well. He said, I need you from, from around everybody, even your family. He said, I need you to move again. And I was like, I ain't going to lie. I said, God, I won't leave my grandson. He said, I need you to leave. He said, because while I'm getting ready to take you, you're going to have to be me and you. I don't want to cry. I'm sorry. So that's how I know about obedience. Y'all can't tell me nothing because I know about obedience. You got to be obedient in order to go to that next level because it's not about us it's about the assignment and the mandate and what he has for you but most of all it's about the people that are waiting for you hallelujah i feel the power of god i said i feel the power of god so i just want to encourage you no matter what you got to go through just stick with god even if you don't understand it stick with god <laughs> yeah no matter what they say no matter what people Stick with God because this is going to be the year of the remnant. I'm telling you. But also, when people are planning a whole lot, y'all, I'm telling you they are. But we're going to stop a whole lot too. Because God said, I'm getting ready to endorse my remnant with the Deuteronomy's power. Do you understand what Deuteronomy's power is? That's that power. That's that supernatural power, honey, that'll hit you and hit somebody else that mess with you. Hallelujah. You don't hear what I just said. Let them keep messing with you. Hold your peace. Oh, let me just end it with this. Y'all gonna think I'm crazy, but I'm real. I'm reminded of the prophet Elijah when them little boys, them little kids was like, ball head Elijah, ball head Elijah. And Elijah was so filled with the, with, with the power of God. And y'all might think it's wrong, but it's scripture. Go, go find it. Go Google it. A bear came out the woods and ate every last kid. I know y'all would say, ooh, that's so harsh. Is it? Is it? 
Because we're going back into that. Because the world thinks that the people of God are something to be played with. We're going back. I'm telling you what God say. Y'all going to stop playing with us. Because the power of God is finna hit you and lit you. You didn't hear what I just said. Hit you and lit you. You know what lit means? You're going to get something. I'm not wishing nothing. I'm telling you. Because you see, I'm tired of people playing with my, power, my people. And hold on. Let me tell you something what he said. God has a throne. I'm not lying. God has a throne, a big throne. It's made in gold, a, a pretty gold. I can't even, I don't even know. I, I don't know that kind of gold, but it's so pretty and it's so thick and it's so big. And God never stands, barely. Can I tell y'all he's standing right now? That's how angry he is. He's standing. And people say, oh, God, God is a God of love. And you're a liar. God is a God of order before he's a God of anything. Yeah, he's a God of love, let's be real. But he's a God of order. And y'all been out of order for so long, the church and everybody else. Y'all ain't lost y'all mind. And God said, I'm about to restore everything. And I'm about to put it in order because that's mine. That's my church. That ain't your church. Some of y'all preachers think that ain't your church. You are a steward. And you've been acting like you've been running it like you run your house. Mm -hmm. That ain't your house. That's God's house. Putting who you want in position. Mm -hmm. And now do we tell you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Making it about money, making it about business and not ministry. This is ministry. <laughs> y'all about to see the power of God like y'all ain't never seen. I'm excited. But also, it's going to be a 2 s war. Just remember this. Keep this video. Save it. Do whatever. Mm. And the ones that been perpetrating, he about to expose you. There are so many. Famous ones that y'all love about to get exposed. Remember I said it. And they get mad. You, who, who told you to say that? You know how long I've been prophesying stuff like this. And ain't nothing happened to me. Because guess what? I'm not a liar before God. Whether you like it or not. God is still God. See, people get... People, let me tell you what was wrong, people. They don't like who God used. Well, guess what? Just like the first assistant got fired. Because he thought he was an assistant. But he wasn't the devil. You can get fired too. God does not have to ask us anything. Look at Job. Didn't he? Didn't he? And Job was a righteous man, the righteous man in the east. And he said, "Where were you when I made the heavens and the earth? Speak if you can." He couldn't. He couldn't. Who are you to tell God what to do and who to use? Hallelujah! I say Hallelujah. This beautiful bluebird just flew by. I mean, two of them, y'all. It's so beautiful. I'm sorry, y'all. Actually, four. I guess that's God. Notice God's number is four. No, three, four. Four is complete. Because the four corners of the earth. So he's doing something. He's doing something. He's doing something. He's doing something. So, as it is the first day of this new year, I decree and declare blessings. I decree and declare prosperity. I, do, I, could, I decree and declare the power of God over your life. I decree and declare that you will be the man of God that he have called you to be. The woman of God. I don't care what you've been through. Restoration is coming, said God. Restoration is coming, said God. Restoration is coming, said God. But he said it is up, upon your obedience. You cannot be disobedient in this hour. It might cost you. It will cost you, said God. He said, get to know me. Just come commune with me. I'm your God. Y'all go on a man before y'all go to God. And we've all been guilty. You could admire someone. And yes, they could be a true man and woman of God. But God said, I'm your God. I'm Alpha and Omega. I'm beginning and the end. In this moment, he wants to have a face-in-face -face encounter with you. It's okay to admire people. But remember, God is your God. And he wants that. He wants that relationship with you. Right now is the time. He said he'll never throw you away. He's your mother. He's your father. Even when people abandon you, say, I'll never leave or forsake you. I'll always be there low, even into death, he says. Trust him. We get mad because sometimes we allow things we don't like. Let's just be real. I did not like last year at all. But who am I to tell God what to do? Yes, Father, to strengthen me. Yes, Father, just don't let me fall. Yes, Father, just strengthen me again where I'm weak, where I'm torn. Or like Job said, though he slay me, yet I will trust in him. Now, y'all know I ain't never did what I'm getting ready to do. And I'm, I don't know, but I'm going to do it. I've never done it. That's how I know he's getting ready to take me to another level. Because I've never done what I'm getting ready to do. But those that hear it, and do it. God bless you. Those that don't, God bless you too. Just go to God. 
because I'm very uncomfortable with what I'm getting ready to do, but I hear him, so I ain't got no choice. Because I just, y'all know I don't do certain things. Y'all know that. But I have to be obedient. And let me tell you how real it is. Thank you, Lord. He, he, thank you. That's why I was waiting. I always wait for confirmation. Last night, I got cash out 22. And I said, why did this young lady do this? God said, I'm doing something. Wait until in the morning. So I said, okay. It's 2022. Remember last night I told you at that register, God said, sow your way through. Hmm. I know, I know y'all getting that. I know y'all getting that. Some of y'all, you know how it is. I don't know why, but I'm a bill beaten. It's 2022. Did somebody put my cash up out there? I asked somebody to be scribed for me and to do it. It is dollar sign. Profit is DD all caps. Can you do that and let me see it? Whoever you are, please. Can somebody do it right now? Whoever, whoever God tells to do it. I just need you to do it. I need to see it. Anybody? Thank you. Thank you so much, Lakeisha. Let me go ahead and because you y'all don't understand. There's something deep going on. I, I know you don't, whatever. Those that catch it will catch it. May the Lord bless you for being obedient. May you receive the prophet's reward in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I decree and declare it to be so. Please let me know because God said he's going to do something. And that ain't no lie. Thus saith the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Those that God laid on your heart. So 22 or 222. It's not a scam. I ain't even that type of person. I don't roll like that. I promise I don't. And I felt uncomfortable when God even told me I was going to be doing it. I was like, God, I don't want to be like them now. But no, he said, Deanna, I'm bringing you up to a whole different level. Just be obedient. And I'm just being obedient. And that's it. That's the end of that story. I ain't saying nothing else. I'm done. Whatever he said, I don't care if you tell me to run around here with whatever. i do it. Y'all going to think I'm crazy. I really don't care. So that's it. There was nothing else he told me to do. So um, God bless y'all. I'm telling y'all, something, something going on. It, it, it's a good thing, because God is getting ready to bless us. Double five trouble, but um, people planning some stuff. At, but, but, and, oh, thank you, Lord. I hear you. I hear you. In every city, every state, God needs men and women to start standing up. I got to tell y'all this. Thank you, Lord, for reminding me. It started in Abbeville, Louisiana, I think two years ago I did this, y'all. I, um, I went in the middle of the, of the um, Madeline Square. And I prayed because that murder spirit to stop. I also prayed for um for just killing to stop. God say, some of y'all, he's asked you to go in the middle of that city, middle of Chicago, middle of New Orleans, middle of Los Angeles, with two or three, whomever. They got to be pure people. Can't have nobody that you know ain't right. You can't do that. I'm going to tell y'all right now. Let me tell y'all what's going on. You pray, and you pray over that city. Bring down that principality, God say. It's time for the principalities to come down. That's what it is. It's a principality. Why do you think they're murdering people? Because before I leave Atlanta, I'm going to the middle of the city. I don't care. I'm by myself. I'm going to ask y'all to come. But if y'all don't come, that's y'all. I don't care. I I'm tired. I'm tired waiting on people to do what? I'm a woman of God. I'm a man of God. Well, what you doing? Why are we not doing what God said to do? What are we doing? Or oh, everybody want to be a star? The devil is a lie. 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 I'm sick of it. Either we're going to do what God said or we not. And guess what? Let me tell you how God's rolling. If you don't do it, God said, I'll raise up somebody to take your place and do it. Hallelujah. What, what you thinking about Saul? Saul wants to listen to the people. There's a train, so I got to get a little loud. There's a, there's a, Saul wants to listen to the people instead of God. God told him, destroy that king. Destroy everything because some things are unclean. And that's what's wrong with the church. We keep touching the unclean thing and they want to come worship before God. How can you do that? He's a holy God. He said, I need you to be obedient. That's why David took his place. What am I saying? Some of you have been obedient. Don't get mad when you get replaced. Okay. All right. All right. Y'all might want to look at this again because God been telling you to do stuff and you're like, and I know because let me tell y'all something. Even doing that with the cash, I don't do stuff like that. I feel so weird because, you know, you know people be playing. And I want people to think I'm playing. But God said, Deanna, if it's the spirit, people that have the spirit know the spirit. But you know how we are. But there are some people, they don't take the things of God for real. But they love God, but they don't take it. How are you going to do that? 
Have you read that Bible for real? God don't play with his people. He's saying that servant that knew my will should be beaten with many stripes. That stuff not funny. I say hallelujah to his name. <laughs> they, they think it's a game. So that's all I hear God saying. That's another thing. Some of y'all need to quit lying on God. Y'all just keep going. Trying to, trying to get money. I'll be real with y'all. When the spirit stop, you're supposed to stop. Other than that, you lying. I'm going to say it again. You lying on God. You better stop that. When the spirit stop, stop. Quit trying to. And y'all can feel it because it don't even flow. It be like, what are they doing? <laughs> y'all know it's true. It be like, wow. <laughs> All right, you guys. I love you guys. I do. I do. I ain't lying. Just let's pray for each other because. Oof. <laughs> oh. God asking us to do some hard stuff, the real ones, I ain't lying, but it's going to be worth it. So, God bless you, God keep you, y'all know what time it is. Roll our soldiers, for that is truly who we are. Mm, God bless. Have a blessed one. Be safe. I got to say this, and this is me. In this season, please use wisdom and discernment. I teach my class this all the time. I'm seeing too much happen, even to people of God. Let me tell you something, and I've said this a thousand times, and I'll, I'll say it a thousand times more. When I meet someone, I don't care how fine, if it's a guy or how beautiful it's a woman, and she can have everything going for her. She could be, everybody like her, everybody know her. I'm still going to God, and God show me her spirit. Who is this? Did you sin, or did, that, did the devil send him? Y'all not doing what God have called us to do. God say, test the spirit by the spirit. We don't do that. I don't know why. We stopped doing that a long time ago. And then when something happened, oh, I'm church hurt. And I've been guilty. We've all been guilty. That's our fault. We don't be testing the spirit by the spirit. And everybody that said, Lord, Lord, is not of God. He want me to really tell y'all that. Everybody that said, Lord, Lord, is not of God. Test the spirit by the, the devil. Know, the devil know how to do things. He know how to bless. He know how to lie. He know how to speak fake tongues. He will have a fake anointing. And then people get mad at me. Oh, you're not supposed to be saying that. I hear God too clear. Stop playing with me. And the sad part is, you know too. Because even sinners can feel the power of God. They don't understand it, but they can feel it. We just, it's time for us to grow up and be real. That's all. That's it. So I'm going to get up out of here. God bless you. Mm, let's, let's do this. This year, the kingdom of darkness has been making us feel it. Let's turn that thing around. Let's hold up the blood-stained banner of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I'm talking about in power, for real. It's time to push them back. They doing too much. All right, God bless.